Welcome back gamers and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. And first thing is first, I have to apologize for the latest uh, non-existent uh, con content in my channel. I do have to apologize about that. Um, it's a lot of jobs uh, going on. I'm talking about my job. I'm working for flat 11 hours and um, you know I still have to drive roughly uh, one hour from my uh, home to my job so yeah I am gone literally 12 hours and I'm kind of exhausted so I have to apologize that it's a lot of work um, to be done and then of course I have a family and kids and stuff like that so yeah go and figure we have a huge pressure of this awesome captain from NA server and his name we can call him ninja penguin and he's playing the Venezia. It's 11 versus 11 match, and guy, you already know, Haaland already got wrecked. Yeah, go and figure. And there's also a uh, midway versus midway. So there's a CV, and there's Thunder, and there's a Minotaur, and then it's the Shikishima. Yeah. Marceau, I do believe he'll also go down very easy because, you know, that's okay, that's very good. Uh, uh, Salvo that was, uh, you know, roughly 9,000 something damage to that destroyer. That's the power of the Italian cruiser. Oh man, who that guess Marceau is gone? He hit all the torps. And yeah, it's kind of a sad to say that many destroyer players are rushing to just being deleted it's almost like playing world of tanks you're dead in just seconds yes you start the game playing you play this game for roughly one minute and you you're going back to port yeah now i'm not saying that you're gonna want to stay far behind but you have to keep that in mind is there a radar cruiser where the radar cruiser could be is it a hydro destroyer where could the destroyer you know destroyer be you don't want to stay in hydro range and st stuff like that you know what i mean so there are quite a few things you have to keep in mind when you're playing this game i do like this game a lot you have to know the strength when you use your consumable, when you use your smoke, when you use your AA, when you don't want to shoot anything, when you really want to stay um, hidden, you know, from your... Um, uh, okay, that was bad, 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 bad. That was <laughs> the enemy Venezia. <laughs> yeah, I do like this ship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the... I mean, thinking, what should I get, uh, Venezia or uh, Petro Pavlos? I, I believe both of them are stupidly strong. But in some way, I do believe that this ship is even more fun. Yes, armor, what armor? You don't have any armor. But I honestly believe she fulfilled the role of a cruiser. Yes, squeegee, yes. Kind of a mediocre AA. Or probably not. Probably not. Um, sure, it's not a Des Moines, it's not a Wooster. Okay, that's bad news. It's a Shigishima at 10.9 kilometers away. <laughs> but he dodged, he dodged everything. He received literally zero damage from that side. However, you have 15 gun. You're. Yeah. 9,600. 8 pen. That's the beauty of bomb this ship. With sap, you can literally do those, you know, 10,000 plus damage, no matter if that it's a battleship or a destroyer. But of course, for destroyer, it's absolutely hilarious strong because, you know, that was 13,000 uh, salvo. It's so high, guys, that Venezia can pull off those ridiculous amount of um, high damage. That not even the damn Alaska can do. Yes, Alaska can blap, and my biggest record I do honestly believe we, it was uh, 34,000 damage with one AP salvo. That it's true, but it was against another cruiser. You can never do that versus, let's say, any battleship. 
Oh, probably if you're lucky. And the thing is that makes this ship kind of a hilarious, strong and fun. You have all those tools. I'm talking about huge alpha damage, uh, good maneuver. You literally turn on a dime, smoke, good um, guns, rail guns are fantastic. Um, yes, you paid with pretty mediocre armor. What armor? However, I'm just saying that Hindenburg and many other tier 10 cruiser, like even the Des Moines, have slightly pro probably better armor, but they are more sluggish. So they can not turn left and right after when using the rudder as good as this ship. So, frankly, if I'm thinking hard, how how is my playstyle? I do believe that this it's pretty damn nasty cruiser, especially versus destroyer. Only one hit, one hit only. One thousand eight hundred. Sure, it was not a whole lot. And you have to uh, remember that your smoke will probably cover you as long you're not too close to the closest enemy like that Wooster, you know what I mean? And let's see what's going on here. I do believe this will be a pretty high salvo damage. Uh, 6600 and he received a Thailand, which basically I do believe that this captain has, has this Luigi, the Italian badass captain. when you do over 100 uh, shells hit that's that's it's something telling about 100 uh, hits yes your main armament alexander nevsky also it's a good cruiser i do like her but she's kind of a sluggish uh, it's um not a big alpha uh, striker like alexander nevsky i do have it she has rail gas yes but the problem is that you cannot pen some battleships. You have to aim for the superstruction or you won't do a whole lot of damage. It's only 180 millimeters guns. You're more like a mosquito. You take small bites. Uh, with the Venezia, not so much. You take big, huge damn bites. Like... You're a freaking giant in bites wise. I don't know how to explain. Uh, yes, you do receive a lot of damage if you're not careful. Kleber did an excellent job. And um, yeah, it was a good start from the enemy team. Now they still have uh, Khabarovsk and Haland, which is, uh, you know, uh, Venezia. The AP is loaded. You have to know when you use SAP and AP. Oh, it was a SAP. 6,304 penetration to ricochet. Um, of course, guys, the biggest difference is that Alexander Nevsky is excellent destroyer killer because of the crazy good long range radar. Yeah. If you are a destroyer, probably it's not the some very smart way to go against two cruisers like Venezia together with Alexander Nevsky. You might actually die and you cannot, uh, let's say, uh, disengage 12 kilometers radar. It's ridiculous. Um, and, and so on. But overall, the point is that this ship is absolutely fantastic. A lot of joint to play. However, if you put yourself in a bad, bad situation, you can be punished pretty damn hard. Um... The downside, it's I do believe the biggest downside with this ship, it's definitely the slow reload. And he missed a couple shots and he'd be spotted by the plane. And oh man, this is rough, guys. This is rough. The Sh Shimakaze killed the uh, Habarovs. How weird is that? Oh lord, oh lord. He's not spotted, but he is within a spotting range. And by the way, this, uh, ladies and gents, this team control zero cap and they the enemy they have close to 558 versus 397 
Alexander Nevsky is doing perfect good job he's trying to cap that uh, Z52 around oh Holland at 7.3 oh lord oh lord oh man he disappeared he is somewhere there you know what I mean mm, okay very good job from the midway he was okay that was a bad aim however uh, the Holland did a crazy good job trying to avoid the incoming fire yeah I do believe he has a uh, little chance to avoid this this salvo uh, 2800 for pen and midway kill him with or without AA <laughs> No, seriously, I, I believe that both teams destroy, kind of play poorly. Um, the enemy team were very, very, very strong at the, at the beginning. Uh, but then, this lovely captain is definitely showing you the potential bomb this ship. Someone needs Hydro him. Mm -hmm, could that be? Oh, Minotaur. Oh, Lord, this is actually nasty. He's doing the right thing to try to... Um, Disengage. Okay, Twelve thousand uh, damage. Oh lord, that it's a high caliber. Very good angle. Very good angle. That he did the right thing before this Minotaur could jump on him. He he has no DPM versus the Minotaur. However, he has the Alpha. <laughs> oh man, I do believe this ship is extremely strong versus anything light like a destroyer. A minotaur you name everything light light with no armor this thing is absolutely a monster and uh, uh, yeah I, I believe this ship in right hand it's a lot of fun as well I do highly recommend to go you know this line especially because the tier 9 and tier 10 are pretty damn awesome I played uh, several of them and you will be surprised how big alpha damage yes you cannot put anything on fire yes you're not a he spammer um and your smoke it's all right but then if you use it within let's say eight nine kilometers away you will be spotted so you have to keep that in mind if you're still gonna use your smoke this disengage get the hell out of there and that it's a very nice smoke with you know uh, full full gas smoke I'm talking about you don't have to stop or anything T to cover yourself it's absolutely the best smoke you can get um, sure it does not have tools the tools is definitely the sap and uh, a huge amount of guns 15 freaking guns and pretty damn fast so the speed the agile it's pretty damn agile uh, cruiser good turning radius however of course it has downside bad armor mediocre aa you know not the worst because if you put yourself in a let's say a decent aa platform you can at least uh, defend yourself not uh, fleet escort cruiser or you not but I do believe it's a good way that he went for the Alexander Nevsky. Alexander Nevsky has way, 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 way better AA than the Venezia. But overall, over much, I'd like to say that both of those two cruisers are uh, fun, strong, and both of them, they have damn rail guns, you know what I mean? Uh, so, of course, there is a difference. In some way, I do honestly believe Venezia is more fun to play in right hand. So guys, I do have to apologize because, you know, I do not make any contents, but I'm a very freaking ba busy man. But I will surprise you with one awesome video, uh, not about game, but about something else that um, I very much would like to share with you guys now Saturday. Saturday, I'll definitely make a one hell of a video that you will be surprised. Yes, that's all I can say. Uh, stay tuned for more and this is the midway uh, 5,000 oh man lord that was bad salvo three rickish of course you have to know where to aim and, and st stuff like that but I do like the guns oh lord 
that was another talent a confederate talent when you get a confederate you will be reloaded probably faster dakedakia yeah definitely faster dakedakia uh, I, I do like those salvos I do believe this uh, game will end and that it's it guys altogether awesome gameplay from this uh, uh, captain and very much like to say 190,000 damage confederate and high caliber and 199 uh, main armor hits so guys thanks guys for watching stay tuned for Saturday's video it will be a very interesting a very different one Take care and catch you in the next one. Bye.